Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. Today I present you Harry Paul Sprain magnetic motor. I think this is one of the simplest motor you have ever seen and it should even work. I, I really believe that because it has really sense and I will not waste your time anymore. So let's get to the drawings and see what is the idea. Okay, so let's turn around a little bit this generator that you see from the first side how it's supposed to look like and um, uh, if I start from the beginning I'll start like always with my uh, generator so this is electrical generator which will through this uh, main shaft drive shaft turn out the generator that we are getting our free energy out of the this magnetic motor free kinetic energy which will be transferred to the electrical energy but let's see the motor it's so simple that it is actually so funny how simple it is and I will now explain so you can see we have the the stator which is this outside part and we have the rotor which is inside part and uh, as you can see on the rotor on the middle part we have only uh, there are only two magnets and on the stator in this particular example we have 19 magnets and additionally to that, on the stator, there is one electromagnet, this one over here. And I will turn this a little bit around, yeah? So you can see that there is something strange with the position of the magnets. And if I zoom it a little bit from above, you will see that each, each rotor magnet, each, each stator magnet is more distant from, this, from the rotor. You can see, let's say this one here, or this one is very distant from the rotor. And now it's even logic tells us why is that, yeah? And w so for example, when this rotor magnet, uh, this magnet over here, uh, uh, will, be, uh, will come to this point, this first magnet on the stator will attract it. And each second magnet have the same, so opposite polarity, it will attract even more. So more, more, more and more speed will be produced in the circulating motion, yeah? And the purpose of this electromagnet in the end is obvious. Yeah? So if I zoom a little bit more, I will now move it. Yeah? So if I zoom a little bit more, you can see that electromagnet will be used for when this magnet, so this stator uh, ro rotor magnet passes last, last, uh, last uh, stator magnet, yeah? last stator permanent magnet, this uh, this electromagnet will create opposite uh, opposite polarity opposite uh, polarity magnetic field which will allow uh, which will allow that this rotor passes it yeah and then it uh, passes this uh, free area over here until the next mag uh, until the next first stator magnet and this will be in the circular motion this is really logical so if this will be the, the least attraction, yeah? here will be the highest attraction, and you will have enough speed that this passes this magnet over here, it will pass a little bit, and then this electromagnet will attract it, or actually push it away, yeah? so that's the purpose of electromagnet, to create an opposite magnetic field in the moment when this passes, because if we don't have this magnet, definitely the rotor will stop, because the 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 poles are attracting yeah and this would stop somewhere over here it will go a little bit hit and it will return and that's it and that's the that's the whole thing and this really you can see now from from this point this is the farthest farthest uh, permanent magnet and this is the closest and after that it's electromagnet which will do the trick that we are that we pass this free area over here and that we can continue to spin and that's it. I will uh, hide this a little bit, uh, isolate, and now I will make it in uh, X-ray that you see the generator from inside. So you can see. Uh, so there is a. This is the stator, and this is the stator, and also this. Yeah? So this all consists of the stator, and on in the middle is it's the bearing, and uh, that's it. Yeah. The rotor is then on the main. Uh, shaft over here so on this on this main shaft is the rotor this is transmission mechanism to transfer it to another electrical generator 
and, and now you can see even much better how these magnets are really uh, with the opposite polarity uh, against mounted against the uh, magnets on the rotor on the rotor yeah that's that's correct and this is the whole idea of the project that's it all right viewers so that was Harry Powell's brain magnetic motor or permanent magnet motor it combines of the rotor stator and one electromagnet which should be electronically controlled by the outside source with the pulse so that you can uh, change the polarity of the electromagnet yeah, when it's needed. Really, I believe this is the simplest motor I have ever seen and uh, really this design where each magnet is more distant uh, in the circular way from the rotor magnets yeah, in, in this direction how it's described in the patent in these drawings you can see that it does have sense that every ma magnet will pull the rotor more to himself and continue the spinning of the rotor. Until next video, please stay tuned on my channel. Bye bye.